pretty good loss. All right, folks, we're here in Northampton, Massachusetts. Pretty exciting. North Amherst Blue Devils. Northampton. Northampton Blue Devils. I'm sorry. Northampton Blue Devils against the Amherst Regional High School Hurricanes. Northampton's getting ready to make their re-entrance re onto the field. We've got the worthy assistance of Brad again today. But we lost the program. We got the Amherst program? We got the program. We have the boom microphone. We got everything going on today. Beautiful weather. The cameraman doesn't screw up. We can follow the, the action. We're going to be all set. We got two tapes, brand new tapes. There we go. Northampton comes on the field. So there's a rumor that Amherst and Northampton are tied in the all time series between these two teams. Going back a, probably a century. It's amazing that they'd be absolutely tied after all that time. Crowd starting to file in. We've got a vantage point here today up on the up in the stands, the sun at our back. Everything is looking good. Still another 12 minutes before the game gets started, so. Oh, uh, that's for the first quarter. We may be getting started sooner than that. Amherst is across the way today. So hold on. All right, the captains are meeting at the middle of the field. Who are Amherst captains, Brad? Number 11, Justin Carey. Number 11, Justin Carey. 22, Joe Worthley. Number 22, Joe Worthley. 23, Zach Jackson. Number 23, Zach Jackson. 57 is Charles Clark. And who do we got out there for Northampton? Looks like number 63. Alex Smoltz, number 63. We gotta get him to move a little bit here for us. Let's go, Amherst! There's some guy right out, right out there on the field. Look at this guy. Look at this guy, he's trying to copy my app. Yeah, I think he's kind of intrusive with that camera, don't you? Look at that, look at that. You don't see me doing that sort of thing. <laughs> the Battle of the Bridge Contest, yeah. In your Northampton Blue Devils. If you could all please turn your attention to the west end zone of the award-winning Northampton. Northampton's a cappella group will sing our national anthem. All right, then. There's the west, so there's a the flag. I can't find it. A cappella tone.
All right, we're getting ready to get started here. And it looks like Northampton will be kicking to Amherst to start the game. Karen Presley and Taj Amir Torres back for Amherst. It's a low rolling punt, kick. It's pass, and that's Torres, picks it up. That's Karen Presley, picks it up. Brings it back a few yards, covers the ball for Amherst. Huh? Amherst is on its own 30 yard line here, folks. First possession of the game. Pitch it, run the left side. And Zach Jackson for about five yards. That'll bring up second down. First man, Worthley, but he stacked up for no gain. No gain on the play. That'll bring up third and five. My finger's itching to turn it on to that tape conservation mode, even though we got plenty of tape today. Plenty of tape. I don't know, do you really want to watch a two-hour two football game? You want to condense down into a... Nice, easy, an hour and 15 minute thing now. Perfect. All right, third and five for Amherst. Carries behind center, he pitches it up again. And this time Northampton holds him to about a two yard gain. That'll bring up fourth down. Amherst will probably have to punt the ball away here. Hold on. Ah, we're gonna leave it run through this first one. Yeah, we got them both their first series without any interruptions, all right? Amherst punts the ball away. Is that Jackson back there to punt? Gets the snap, puts it up. It's a nice kick. Hampton catches it, breaks the first tackle. He's still running. He's breaking through the defense. And he makes a nice return. It's back to about the 50 yard line. We got a good announcer over here in Northampton. I don't even have to do anything today. I'll just let you listen to him. He's probably got the names better. All right, here comes Northampton. Blue Devils come to the line on their first offensive possession. And they hand it to the tailback. He tries the right side. And it's good for about four or five. Christian Rivera carries the ball for the Blue Devils. Who's that tackled by, Brad? Jay Fonseca, number 52, with the tackle for the Hurricanes. All right, second and six here. 
And they, they hand it again. Amherst holds him to a short game. Maybe no game. Charlie Clark and Jay Ponseco with, again with the tackle. All right, now it's third and six here. Northampton breaks the huddle, comes to the line. He's still got the ball. He's rolling this way. And knocked out of bounds. Here, Joe Worthley. Brandon Rivera on the tackle. All right, Northampton's going to have to punt now. And he kicks a low line drive. It bounces. Amherst lets it go. That's going to be down to about the 10 yard line. Amherst 10 yard line. Hold on. All right, the Hurricanes come back out on offense now. Carey takes the snap, hands it off. And not much gain on the play. Oh, now we got problems. Yeah, we got more Aussie stunts. More Aussie stunts. It's a big day today. Come on up, you should get up here. Come back down, Ricky. Oh, look at this. What's up, Bruce? Michael. Perfect. Don't get in the way now. All right, second down and ten for Amherst. Penalty flags fly in the play. Oh, oh my God! Oh, pass was dropped over on the far sideline there. I think he didn't. He didn't look it into his hands, did he, Bruce? He didn't quite make the reception. What are you doing? All right, hold on. All right, they call it a legal procedure on that last play. Northampton did not decline the penalty, so uh, now it's still third and nine. Yeah, he carries back. He's in the shotgun. They put it up the other side. Pass is caught. Go! 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 And right down from behind. About the 50. It's about the Amherst 50. That's the first time the Worthley's ever been caught from behind. First time I went to get a ring top from behind. According to this, according to this thing here, you're maxing out my volume. <laughs> what am I gonna do? Turn it down? Or are you gonna talk a little softer? <laughs> oh, now what? Well, we got a penalty. Let's see. It was like it was like the ref was pacing it off there. I don't see how they got any extra yardage out of it. Thought that's where he got to before he got tackled. Hey, Amherst back out there on offense. They pitch it over this way, and he's hit. Right down. That was uh, Jackson with the carry. Andy Kwan with the tackle for Northampton. Uh, it is second and 15 here for Amherst. Trips right. Empty backfield. 
Carey looks. Carey's in trouble. Carey escaped. Look at him. Put it up. Put it up. And he tries to run it. And he might have picked up. Picked up a couple. Hurricanes come back to the line. It'll be third and 14 now. No score here in the first quarter. Carry in the shotgun. Puts it up. He's gone. That's number three. Kazimir Torres with the catch. Justin Carey makes the pass. So Amherst breaks on top today. Okay, so Amherst will be out here to attempt the extra point now. All right, here comes Amherst. He's gonna try for a two point extra point here. The receivers split either side. They hand it to Jackson and they try the left side, but he stopped short of the end zone. So Amherst is no good on the extra point. What's the score, Bruce? The score is. Number 63, Alex Subak with a nice tackle on the play. So your score was 4 Alex Subak on the tackle on the last play there. All right, it's uh, 455 left to go in the first quarter. And Amherst breaks on top, six to nothing here in Northampton, Massachusetts. Against the Blue Devils of Northampton High School. So, now Amherst is gonna kick off. Nice catch. Turns around. Oh, and he's trudging forward. Probably is no real point in my repeating that. And Northampton will be on offense. We'll get back. What, do, what does it worth we do? We got the Northampton cheerleaders here today. They just gave us a cheer. Uh, they probably gave Northampton folks a cheer. And come the Blue Devils again. They're starting a tight formation. And they put it up. Uh -oh. That's just over his outstretched hands. Tajamir Torres with the coverage. He's all over the place too. That'll bring up second and ten for Northampton. And there you go. Dive up the middle, Bruce. They try it right up the middle. John Grimaldi carries the ball for the Blue Devils. Going to bring up about a 33 here for the Northampton squad. Let's go, help! Third and three. Northampton tries that. Up, oh, quarterback still got the ball. No, they don't. Now oh, they're starting to trick me again. All right, hold on. So 
So that'll be a first and ten for the Blue Devils. And this time Amos is ready for that quick handoff. And they stop him right there. Willie Vasquez with the carry. Jay Fonseca with the stop for the Hurricanes. All right, that'll bring up second and ten now. And it's time to hand it in to the second man. And that ball was fumbled. And it looks like the Hurricanes recovered. As the squads are changing squads. All right, Amherst will be on offense when we get back. Brandon Rivera for the Hurricanes makes the recovery. Now Amherst takes over, first and 10, the 50-yard line. They pitch it. They pitch it left side to Jackson. But he stopped for little or no gain. Go offense! It's about second and ten now for the Hurricanes. Let's see if we can get in there a little closer. This time Amherst is in the, in the shotgun. Motions to one of the receivers. And he's back. They put it out over here. And Jackson Carey takes the reception for a short gain. Good for about maybe three or four yards. Third and six. That'll bring up third and six now for the Hurricanes. Here come the Hurricanes. Gary's in the shotgun again. He fades back. He pumps. He looks. He dodges. And he's brought down. Brought down. He's sat for about a three yard loss. It's going to bring up fourth down now. The Hurricanes are forced to punt the ball away. So, Bruce, get a picture of Frank Latouk with Northampton colors on, please. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving. And he calls for the fair catch and makes it at the 20, 22 yard line. Northampton will be on offense when we get back. Okay, Amherst is on top. Six to nothing with 33 seconds left to go here in the first quarter. Northampton's ball, first and 10. And he still got it. Quarterback keeper, but he was brought down for no gain. RJ Ramsey, maybe gained one. And now it'll be second and nine. Who's that tackle by? All right. Oh, that ends the first quarter here, folks. Amherst is on top. And after one quarter of play, Amherst leads Northampton by the score of six to nothing. We'll be back in a minute. Looks like they got something going on down here with the video camera and the cheerleaders. The cheerleaders of Northampton are gonna give the cheer to the camera. So, yeah, we're all having fun. We're all having fun today. Another guy with a camera. I don't know what's going on around here. There's another guy with a camera. 
I was down there before. I had that uh, territory staked out, but I gave it up and came up here. So I could be closer to me brethren, you know. All right. Northampton's ball now, second and second and ten. And they hand the ball off. That's held for little or no gain. He gets about a yard, maybe. Who's that tackle by? 22? Christian Rivera with a carry for Northampton. No, you ain't doing a very good job. Joe, Joe Jacobs teach you that ain't word? <laughs> third down now, third down and eight or nine. He puts it up, his, hit, his arm is hit as he released the ball. Charlie Clark in there providing the pressure for the Hurricanes. Tip the ball. So that's gonna mean Northampton's got a punt here. Number four for the Northampton High School Blue Devils. Back to punt it. And it's a low driving kick. Ball went out of bounds over on the far sideline there. Giving Hammers pretty good field position here. They're near mid midfield. They at? They're at their 48 yard line? 47 yard line? 47. All right, Amherst is out here now on in possession of the ball with 11 minutes, 33 seconds left to go in the second quarter. Carries behind center. He drops. He puts up the little pass over this other side. It's incomplete. All right, here we go now. It's a second and 10 for the Hurricanes. Carries under center. He drops. He puts it up the other side. Oh, it's a diving catch. Diving catch by Karen Presley, number five for the Hurricanes. First down. That's a first down. And the Hurricanes are in Northampton territory now. The Blue Devil 37 yard line. It's first and 10 now. And they hand it up the middle. Up, we've got a turnover on the play. Amherst fumbles the ball. Bad hand up. <laughs> All right, that's going to give the ball back to Northampton here. All right, Northampton takes over at their own 34-yard line. And the quarterback still got it. Oh, he breaks away. He's still trying to get away, but he's brought, he's brought down. <laughs> Daniel Wilbon with the tackle for Amherst. Hampers right back to the line now. It'll be about second and 12. And they move the pile to the other side. Yeah. All right, it's third and seven now for Northampton. 
to be a little break in the action here. I don't think there was a timeout called. Perhaps there was. What happened now? Timeout North Hampton. Okay, timeout. All right. Now we got third and seven. And, oh, they got all caught up back there, but he got away. Oh, he breaks another tackle. Oh, man. Missed the ball. Missed the ball. I don't know where to look, folks. That wasn't on the right plane. They got a first down. I'll tell you what, I'll look in the viewfinder from now on, all right? Hold on. That's when it, that's when it views? Right. In the morning or at night? At night. You're getting prime time? Of course I'm getting prime time. Don't forget, folks, we're going to have regular hours here for Amherst Regional High School Sports. We're going to be on on uh, Wednesdays? Wednesdays. 8 p.m.? 8 p.m. And Saturdays. And Saturday at 8 p.m. And now we'll have a lot of games. I'll need a lot more help. There's a lot of sports. We can put a lot of sports on. But I can't get to all of them by myself. We need some help. All right, they hand it up the middle. I told you before, I got a lot more. I got some tapes. Got some chili. I got some t-shirts once. All right, now, it's going to bring up about a third and six here. Northampton breaks the huddle and comes to the line. And he pitches it. Oh, it's the option. He, puts it, he pulls it down and runs. Tackle by 57, Charlie Clark. And that looks like it was good enough for a first down. Let's go, defense! Let's go, Rob! Okay, first and ten. First and ten for the Blue Devils. They're in the wishbone. And they hand it. That's a scissors play. Call, they say that was a scissors play. I don't know about that. I think that looked like the dive option out of the wishbone. Scissors. You mean the cross buck? You talking about the cross buck? All right. Larry Adams took one to the house on a scissors play. It's Baja, 74. Some history here. And they're in that wishbone again. And they pitch it to the far side. Oh. He went around the outside. Number 22 for Amherst Worthy with the tackle. But not until about a nine yard gain. So Northampton's down to the down to about the Amherst 33, 32 yard line. And, oh. Willie Vasquez for Northampton carries the football. Who's that tackle by? That'll be a first down. Miss that tackle, folks. All right, now, oh, that was the first and ten right there. And they caught him after a short gain. Charlie Clark. 
Will Bond and Clark combined on a tackle. Go defense! Hey, they're at the uh, at the 28 yard line of Amherst. And the quarterback still got the ball. And he's dropped after a short game. Javon Seiko with the with the tackle. Hey, Brings you with cobwebs on that five dollar bill. Yeah, you bet. <laughs> Okay, we're going to be third and four here. Northampton's at the uh, about the 24-yard line of the Hurricanes. And and this time they stop him short of the mark. This time they stop him short of the mark again. Uh oh, flag on the play. Check that, not a flag on the play. The announcer deceived me. All right, hold on. Now nah, we we're going to roll. We we're just rolling. All right, that's going to be fourth and five here now for the Northampton Blue Devils. Big play early in the game. Oh! And they jump. They jump. That's gonna that's gonna make it more like a fourth and ten. And a referee's walking it off. Now what are they gonna do? Do they do they still elect to go for the fourth and ten or do they wanna try to pin North Amherst back? You wouldn't try you wouldn't try to pin the hurricanes back near the goal line and play the position game? Not unless the execution shows a punch. We'll just let that go. When the next when the next show comes out, I'll explain to you about this famous punt. This gale force winds that day, folks. Gale force winds. It was like a nor'easter. They're playing it playing on astroturf field. Super Bowl. The Super Bowl. State record. The wind was in his back. Got a hold of that ball. Bounced once at about the 50 yard line. Just kept rolling, rolling, rolling. Like us, we're rolling. <laughs> but yet, the legend lives on. The 69 yard punt that occurred in 1975. The Super Bowl game between Amherst and Lunenburg. Amherst won 36 to 6. Amherst won 36 to 6. That's why we weren't taking no prisoners. Your brother had an interception in that game. He had a touchdown. <laughs> All right, we paid homage to the past, and now we're back to the present. Go defense! All right, here we go. Northampton's still going for it here. They're like fourth and ten. And they put it up. And He's a freshman. He's having some game, a touchdown and a 50 yard uh, interception. Hey, Speak into the microphone. All right, three minutes left to go here in the second quarter. Namers takes over on offense. At the, that's at the Northampton 40 yard line. And they hand it back. And they're stacked up. Zach Jackson with a short gain on the play.
Clock's running. It's 2.37 left to go now in the second quarter. And we're down to 2.25 now. They're getting to the line of scrimmage. Carries behind center. Fades back. Oh, he puts it up over to the other side. That play. Oh, we're calling that a, we're calling that a lateral and a fumble. I don't know. I thought it looked like a forward pass. Northampton a touchdown on the play, and that ties the score up six to six. Northampton will attempt the extra point right now. And the Blue Devils have a place kicker. It's a fake. Drop. I don't know if it was a fake or just a, a bad snap that the uh, Daniel Wilbon makes a stop for the Hurricanes. All right, now there's two minutes left to go in the first in the first half here. Hey, Briggsy. And Northampton will be kicking off. Briggsy. Yeah. I think that was one of the things that could go bad. Yeah. <laughs> So we're all back to even, even Steven, folks. Number 44 for the Northampton Blue Devils gets ready to kick the ball off. spread out. Do a little fake thing. Oh, and a little a little pooch. So Northampton's willing to give up field position on that and uh Brandon Johnson covers that ball for the Hurricanes. They take over at their own 42. Late. And well, it's still about two minutes left to go here in the first second second quarter. The first half of this ball game. And now it carries in the shotgun. And he throws it over there to Worthley, but it's incomplete. Second and ten here for the Hurricanes. Continue to work out of the shotgun. Carries back. Carry looks. <laughs> Joe Worthy with a great block. There's number five, Karen Presley with the catch. That's good for a first down. And that moves the ball to the Northampton 43 yard line. Timeout on the field. First down Amerson, we get back.
Right, here we go. Here we go, here we go. Here he gets behind center now. He drops. Puts it up. No boy! Caught over there. Zach Jackson makes the reception. Oh, they gave the catch to Worthley. Worthley gave it to Jackson, but the announcer gave it to Worthley. So we don't really know. It was Jackson. It was Jackson. Why? We're often more correct. Why do you think the quarterback had time? Worthley was back there blocking. <laughs> All right, here. This time they're in the they're in the shotgun. Oh, they're in the wildcat. And he makes the he makes the run up the middle there. Hold on. All right. Well, Amos came up just short there, it's, so it is going to be third down in a in a smidge. Right, just a smidge. Here come the Hurricanes. And it looks like we're going Wildcat again here. Yeah? This time, this time he goes to the right. And it's still going to be pretty close. They're not getting a lot of production out of the old Wildcat there. I don't think he made it. This is going to bring up. This is going to bring up a fourth, fourth and one here. They lost yardage on that one, and we got timeout. Hold on. All right, Amherst is coming back to the line of scrimmage now. Fourth down and one. At the Northampton 35-yard line. Carry back in there, quarterback. Fades back, he scrambles out, he puts it up, and that's incomplete. So Northampton takes over on downs. All right, there's 33 seconds left to go in the first half now. Northampton takes over the ball at their own 35 yard line. They send a man in motion, the quarterback keeps it. He hesitates, and he's dragged down. And the clock's still running. And they stop the clock with 17 seconds left to go. I guess they want to take one more crack at it. And the referee winds the clock. Now it's running. Northampton comes to the line. Nine, eight, seven. And he blows the whistle for four seconds. And now we stop the clock again. With, oh, it's still running. They just, I don't know what that was. So that's halftime, folks. The score tied. Score is tied, six, six all. There goes the Blue Devils running off the field. They gotta go up, there's a path over there. I came down this way, trying to find my way around here, and they got this staircase, goes up in those shrubs right there. That's the best way to get up that hill, at least in the morning when it's frosty. And Northampton's going to have a ceremony for their former coach, Frank Tudrin, right now. And former coaches and players are going out on the field. So hold on. We may bring you some of that. Hold on. Yeah. Uh -huh. 
football coach over here in Northampton. Did it for many, many years. You see the Northampton High School logo and shrubbery over there and topiary. No, tropiary. Hold on. Here we go again. Getting ready to start the second half. They got the clock. It's kind of screwed up over there. We got 429 left on the clock. It was still counting down halftime time. Now they've got it reset. 12 minutes to start Start the third quarter here. Hammers kicks the ball off. It's a short kick. He touched it. And the Northampton Blue Devils fall on the ball. Alex Stepkowski with the recovery. A lot of Blue Devils to start off at their own 37 yard line. Let's go, defense! And. Good job, Joe! Worthy with a, Joe Worthy with a form tackle out there. Stops him for no gain. That'll be second and 10 now for the Blue Devils. And the announcer gives a tackle to Jackson. Alrighty, okay. Happy Thanksgiving. I'll talk to you in a little while. And quarterback keeps and tries to go around the right side. Defense. He stopped for a very short gain, gain of three on the play. Fonseca with the stop. And Northampton picked up about three. Maybe four. <laughs> Come on, Mike. Give me a little help, will you? What are they running out there, Mike? What's Northampton featuring on offense? Looks like they're in a punt formation here. Well, he gets off a good kick, bounces straight up, and stops right there in the grass. So Amherst takes over at their own 19. Here come the Hurricanes. Go offense! 
Okay, Carey takes the ball. He hands it off to Jackson. And he runs over to one man. Then he stopped and brought down. Jackson with a gain of two. Now it's like a gain five. of about four, five. Oh, five. Is that? And a gain of about five on the play. Come the Hurricanes. Back to the line of scrimmage. Be a second and second and four, five here. Carey takes a snap. He fades back. He puts it up over oh. his head. Oh, just gets through there. Over to Karen Presley, number five, with the catch. That's good for a first down. Carry behind center. Hands it off. Worthy. Worthy. Stop. Maybe a gain of one or two on the play. All right, 7.50 left to go here in the third quarter. Score is still tied in this ball game, six to six. Hammer scored on a long drive down the field, capped by a Joe Worthley touchdown. There goes Zach Jackson trying the left side, and he's absorbing hits until he's brought down. Oh, number three Woo! touchdown. That was uh, Tole uh, Toledo with the touchdown. Hey, I'm just wondering. I'm just wondering if your wife is a Northampton cheerleader wearing a Northampton coat. I'll check that stat for you there, folks. I'm not quite sure. If I could get my, if I could get the spotter to give me some spotting. All right. Third down now. Third and seven for the Hurricanes. Carey in the shotgun, he fades back, puts it up. Tajamir Torres, the second touchdown of the game. He's got two touchdowns and a pick today. And he's a freshman. If someone doesn't recruit him away, Amherst will have him for a couple more years here. All right, we're going to have to change rolls of tape at some point. I hope I can do that smoothly without missing any plays. If I do miss any plays, you'll know why. All right, now there must have been a timeout call here. Let me let me save a little tape. I'm going to switch the tape right now. Okay, hold on. Aaron's hands the ball to Jackson on the extra point attempt, and they're signaling he's in there. So now Amherst goes up by a score of 14 to six. With an eight point lead over the Blue Devils. We'll be back with the kickoff, hold on. All right, so we're rolling tape here. We gotta make sure we don't have any of them early tape glitches. We hate them early tape glitches. 
We don't understand them. All right. Puts it in play. Stanton catches the ball. Hammers gang tackles him at the 30 yard line, driving him backwards. So Northampton will take over the ball here. It'll be first and 10. First and 10 from the 30. And here come the Blue Devils. Takes a snap, fades back, puts it up this way. They go Picked up by Kieran Presley of Amherst. After four games, I'm starting to learn a few of these names here. I don't know, it might be some kind of learning deficiency or something. So, Amherst will be on offense now. 5.22 left to go in the third quarter. Amherst on top, 14 to six. The Hurricanes come to the line of scrimmage. Carries behind center. He hands it to the back. And there's a big pile up over there. They drag him down. Hold on. Alright. Gary's in the shotgun. Takes a snap. Puts it up over the other side. And we got another fumble. Man, which gives up the ball again. So Northampton will take over next one field position in Amherst territory. The Amherst 45 yard line. Hold on. All right. Northampton pitches at this side. He's running over here. Oh, and he gives up the ball. Oh, and the ball comes right back over to Amherst. Northampton only held on to it for one play. Well, he didn't even hold on to it for one play. So, now Amherst has the ball back where they were a second ago. And they're shuffling the offense and defensive teams back and forth on the field, folks. What do you think about that action, Mike? I think that's a lot of action there, Bruce. A lot of action. All right, now Amherst comes back to the line of scrimmage. Carries behind the center. Up, oh, they jump a little. And now the referee blows the whistle, so that's probably gonna be against Amherst. All right, that is marched off against Amherst, five yards for illegal procedure. All right, here we go. Now we're gonna be first and 15 here for the Hurricanes. some kids over in the bushes over there. They're not appreciating that. Northampton doesn't like anybody in their bushes. There's trees and shrubs, but there are no bushes. There goes Jackson around the other side. And he picks up about seven yards on that carry. That'll bring up second and eight. Joe Worthley had a, a, a block of freedom. 
Here comes Carey back to the huddle with a play. And Hurricanes break the huddle and come back to the line of scrimmage. All right, Carey's behind center. Pitches it back to Jackson again. They try the same play. Running left side. And that's good for another five or six yards. That'll bring up third and third and about two. Here come the Hurricanes. This time there in the eye. And we got another whistle. And timeout. We'll be back as a matter of fact. All right. Third down and two here for the Hurricanes. They're in the eye. And Carey fakes it. Puts it up over here. And another fumble. Another fumble. And Northampton recovers the ball. That's a tough throw for the Hurricanes. This when they were starting to make some progress. Been a lot of turnovers here. A lot of turnovers. It's been a turnover filled third quarter. So now it'll be Northampton's ball at their own 23 yard line. They're in the huddle. And they come out. Quarterbacks behind center, they look to be in a wishbone again. And he rolls, he makes the pitch, and their back finds the edge, he gets to the outside. Joe Worthley. Joe Worthley had the tackle after a 20 yard gain. All right, here comes the Blue Devils. Here come the Blue Devils. And they're in the wishbone again. Run! This time the quarterback holds on to the ball, tries it himself. R.J. Ramsey with the carry, Jay Fonseca with the stop. Picked up about four or five on that play. It'll be about second and six here for the Blue Devils. And here they come. Still in that wishbone. Bunch formation here. Up, oh, quarterback keeps it. Amos puts a kibosh on that that time. Charlie Clark, number 57, makes the play. And that's, that's held a little or no gain, maybe a yard. All right here. It's gonna be third and five here. The Blue Devils. And here they come. About a minute and a half left to go in the third quarter. Amherst on top. 14 to six. And they're in a, they're in a single wing this time. And Looking to be, what was that, delay a game? I believe that was delay a game. 
We got some nice uh, signals from the officials today. So that'll back them up. That'll make it a uh, third and nine here. Third and nine. It's a pretty important play right here for the for the Hurricanes. I like to stop them here and force the punt. Times are running. It's one minute left to go now. Okay. And we got a single back. And the quarterback goes back. Oh! Oh! And this time the referee says that he was down. This time they said the ball caused the fumble. But they picked up the first down there. What? Somebody's trying to correct me over here. Maybe I didn't, what did I say, the ball caused the fumble? Well, maybe the ball and the ground hit each other. Caused the fumble. All right. That's first and 10 now for the Blue Devils. Amherst unable to stop them on third down there. In the single back set again. And this time the quarterback keeps it on the option. And let's see, what did he pick up? He picked up about five. Oh, more than that. Picked up six on the play. And we had some kind of altercation, some kind of this penalty flag on the field here. And the referees are Referees are in there discussing it. Let's see what they got. Looks like they're discussing with Northampton. No, with Amherst, whether they want to accept the penalty. I think they do. But no. It's offsetting penalties. So the minor altercation results in no net result. No net result in that result. Go defense! All right, second and four now. Blue Devils in the single back set. They send a man this motioning. And, no! and another fumble. I don't know what I got here. I was, there's all these kids around here that are distracting me. I don't know what happened. Don Donovan Riley with the recovery. Donovan Riley for the Hurricanes with the recovery. All right, wow. That was very timely for the Hurricanes. Northampton was moving the ball. They were down to the 20, 25 yard line. The nice pass reception, and then they freed up the ball, and the Hurricanes recovered it. Anybody keeping stats here? How many fumbles is that today? I hear, I hear a seven. I don't know if that's true or not. I don't think so. If I was to guess, I'd say five. I'd say five. I'd say three by Northampton and two by the Hurricanes. All right. Bruce, you know what happens when you assume. And what happens, Michael? That's the end of the third quarter. We're going to start the fourth quarter up here down at the other end of the field. Amherst will be taking over. First and 10. Okay. Hurricanes break the huddle and come to the line of scrimmage. We'll zoom back just a little bit so I'll have a better chance of not missing everything. So carries behind center. Takes the snap, hands it this side. And he's slowed down and then he stopped and then he's driven back. I think that was Jackson with the carry. Now it's good for six. 
Good for six, bring it up second and four for the Hurricanes. Need to move the chains here, Bruce. Gotta move the chains, wind this clock. That's what the Hurricanes need to do right here. Maintain possession of the ball. And keep it in the other end of the field. Right, Mr. Fuchsia? There you go. And what's the most important thing? Hold on to it. No turnovers, no turnovers. Late in the game here. All right, here come the Hurricanes. And it's like we've got a break in the action. Time out by the Hurricanes. Hold on. And they pitch it this way. They got held for no gain on that play. That'll bring up third and four here. He held on to the ball closely on that play. Oh, he picked up a little yardage. Oh my God, four zero zero one one eight. Oh, if you'd only bought another four tickets. No, no, four zero zero zero. Right down the All right. And thrown over there, but incomplete. That's going to bring up fourth down and force Amherst to kick the ball. All right, Amherst is back in the punt formation. Jackson gets ready to receive the snap. He catches it. He hits it. He almost got that block. And, and we got another flag down this end. We got a flag up the other end. I can find it. There it is. I think we got a roughing the kicker at one end. They're probably gonna. We'll see what they we'll see what the referees figure out here. Did you know Bill Morrow? Yes. Your father made him. Yeah, well, he really did. He was, one, he was a pretty good uh, fullback from Lemonstein here in high school. All right. They're discussing the situation. Midfield there. Now, the one, the one penalty occurred before the transfer of possession. I don't know. The one was a rough in the kicker, we think. Okay. Oh. Oh, he made the wrong signal. So he, he called offsetting penalties. And they let the play stand. Oh, let's see here. Okay. No, oh, Amherst maintains possession here. It wasn't offsetting penalties. Both penalties were on the Blue Devils. They, they just accepted the one penalty, which was worth more yards. The uh, personal foul and a rough in the kicker. So now it's worth, I think, 15 yards. Now Amherst takes over. First and 10 at their 45 yard line. We got 10 14 left to go in the game. So were you on the team that beat uh, the Villanova team? It was like Frank. Carry drops. And he moves. Puts it up deep. Oh! Put it out there for him. And Carey laid that ball out, but it was it was just off the fingertips. All right, it's going to bring up the second and ten. Amherst stopped the clock with that pass incompletion. You probably want to get this clock running again here. Okay, Amherst comes back to the line of scrimmage, and carries behind center, takes the snap, hands it back, and Jackson's held to a short gain, about two yards, one yard, they do start the clock running again, now there's 9.50 left to go in this game. I know, I know that look, look to my father all, all too well. <laughs> Third and nine for the Hurricanes. 
We'll see what they choose to do here. And Harry's in the shotgun this time. He takes the snap. He fades back. He starts to move. But he's gotten dragged down. He does hold on to the ball and keep the clock rolling. So now Amherst is going to be forced to punt here. About fourth and ten. All right. He's a pretty slick guy. This is Jackson. Oh, he's forced to start running. He does kick it. And it's a good kick. Necessity is the mother of invention on that one. And it's good for about a 30 yard kick for the Hurricane. All right, so Northampton's taking over now at their own 27 yard line. I know the bathroom where they get it. They send a man motioning. They hand it back the other way. And they try to run the left side. 22. 22 Worthley with the stop, holding him to about a three yard gain. And the clock continues to roll here. We got 9.20 left to go in the game. And clock's rolling on Northampton. We're down to nine minutes now. Nine minutes now. Here they come back to the line. And now they call timeout. So hold on. All right, after the timeout here, it's uh, second and eight for Northampton Blue Devils. And they send the man in motion. This time they pitch it to him. And Amherst is on top of that. They held him to about. Oh, probably a two or three yard gain there. All right. Nope, that clock is still running. Northampton comes back to the line of scrimmage. Now it's third and six. And the quarterback hands it, and he's got running room. He takes it across the left side. Takes it across the left side for a nice little 10 yard pickup. And that gives him a first down. Clock's now at seven minutes. Seven minutes to go here. Northampton brings the play in. Here they come back to the line of scrimmage. Okay. And this time they pitch it this side. And he's got more running room. And they pick up about 25, 30 yards on that play. So, late here in the game, five minutes and 30 seconds left to go in the game. Northampton's moving the football. And again, they hand it up the middle. This time, Amherst is up to the challenge. He picks up, well, he picked up Jay Fonseca with the stop off on the Amherst defense. Uh oh. Charlie? 
Looks like Charlie Clark is out on the field. All right, hold on. All right, Clark is coming off the field, hobbling somewhat. Looks like he's hurt his leg. And Northampton gets ready to get back to work here. It'll be a second and second and seven for the Blue Devils, in Northampton, Massachusetts. And he moves to the left, tries to come back to the right, and he stayed on his feet and kept kept churning. He picked up there, Mike. Four or five yards on the play. That's a third, come bringing up third down. Amherst needs to make a stop here. Northampton's at the 20 yard line now. They're closing in on the end zone. There's five minutes and 30 seconds left to go in the game. Come the Blue Devils. Takes the snap and hands it. They hand it to the big back. Oh, he just keeps pulling along. Willie Vasquez gets the first down for the Blue Devils. They're missing Clark in the middle. And they're down to about the 13 yard line now. Clock's still running. We're down to five minutes. But Northampton has plenty of time to get the ball in from here. And looks like we got a timeout. Timeout Northampton. Hold on. Amherst is up to the challenge. They drag him down. Little or no gain. Uh oh, flag on the play. Dominic De Jesus, number 33, with the stop. And the officials are debating the merits of this flag. Let's see what they're going to do. That looks like a clip. Oh, that's a big call. That's a clip. And so that should back him up 15 yards. Okay. So that gives Amherst a little better chance to make this uh, Stop and take over possession of the game here. Possession of the ball, possession of the game. We got the Amherst fans making a little noise over here in Northampton. They're in the wishbone. He brings it this side, he pitches. And it's like number 20, number 20 there. Duncan Riley. Number 20 for the Hurricanes with the stop. Donovan Riley. My spotter's more accurate, though he might be a little slower. Okay, that's second and 15 now. They did pick up good yardage on that play. And this time they try the reverse. 
And he brings the ball down close to a first down. You're getting close to the goal line here. They can pick up a first down at the two yard line. And that'll bring up third and third and two or three from about the five. So these are big plays right here. Amherst got they got a break on the clipping call, but they weren't able to capitalize on the opportunity because Northampton's right back knocking at the door. All right, here come the Blue Devils. This time he looks to pass. He rolls out around the right side. He's in for the touchdown. That's a touchdown, Northampton. We got three and a half left to go in the game. And Northampton pulls between, pulls up to. Oh, wait a minute. What's the score? 14 to, 14 to 12 right now. They're going for two. 14 to 12. They got a bad score on the scoreboard. It says Amherst has 26 points. But I don't think that's right. All right. This is to tie the game. And they try it. They try to pitch. And they're bottled up. They bring them down. All righty. Fans making the stands. Collaborate. Joe Worthley makes the stop. Who else was in there on that stop? We had a lot of a lot of hurricanes helping out on that. It just looked like a lot. It's just Joe Worthley. All right. Yeah, there you go. There you go. All righty. Now Northampton's going to have to kick off to the Hurricanes. They may want to try the onside kick here. There's 324 left to play, fourth quarter. What do you, what do you think? You go for the onside kick here, Mike? I think you have to, Bruce. You better have your hands. I think you have to. I think you got to go for the onside kick. Time can really slip by fast in these interscholastic games. Time out on the field, hold on. All right, folks, here we go. We're expecting the onside kick here. Amherst has a lot of players up by the line. And this, they do pooch one down there. Recovered by Amherst, he stays on his feet. And now it's down. Just about the Amherst 45 yard line, maybe the 44. So Amherst will be on offense here. 318 left to go in the game. Clinging on to a two-point lead. I I was that. Comes the hurricane. There he's behind center. We'll be expecting him to hand the ball here. He pitches it, they go right. And Jackson stays in bounds. Three minutes now, clock rolling. And Northampton's coming over here like they called a timeout, but the clock seems to still be rolling. I don't know. And now it stops with 2.52 left to go in the game. Northampton must have called a timeout, so hold on. All right, here they come now after the timeout. It's going to be second and eight for the Hurricanes. Still probably want to get this clock Probably want to get the clock started again. If they can get a first down here, they're going to be very nearly. Oh, number 79 jumps offside. That's going to make Amherst's job a little more difficult here. And one, two, three, four, five. Is that Amherst's education, Bruce? And. 
official marks the five yards off against Amherst. That's going to bring up second and 14 now. And the clock has stopped with 3.05 left to go. Here they come back to the line of scrimmage. Carey takes a snap, fades back, puts it up. Oh, block stop, block stop. And that ball's incomplete. Incomplete. That'll stop the clock. Still three minutes and two seconds left to go here. Fourth quarter. And we got a third, third and 14. So, big play here for the Northampton Blue Devils. They desperately need a stop if they're going to get back in, in this game. Likewise, a big play for Amherst. Carries in the shotgun, takes a snap, dodges, rolls this side, puts it up. Throws it away. And Northampton Blue Devils are going to take over at their own 40 yard line with two minutes and 50 seconds left to go in the game. So Amherst wasn't able to accomplish any of their objectives that time. They couldn't get a first down, they couldn't run the clock, and they couldn't control the ball. All right, it's crunch time now, folks. Two minutes, 50 seconds left to go in the game. Northampton's on offense. The ball at their own 40 yard line. They're down by two points. And they make the pitch. The ball's on the field. That's a loss of that's a loss of about 15 yards. No, let's see what they do. And more importantly, the clock's still moving, Bruce. Clock is rolling. It's a loss of a good eight yards. Good job, defense! Even about an eight-yard loss on that. 225 and rolling now. Brings up second and about 18 for the Blue Devils. Blue Devils are gonna have to put this ball up in the air sooner or later here. And Slips and he goes down. And that's going to let the clock keep rolling. Now Northampton has to call a timeout. Will Barstow makes the tackle for the Hurricanes. Cotter, and it's a good thing. Nobody gets a good around here. That's his thing. That's his All right, we're still in a timeout here. Northampton was forced to call the timeout. It's going to be third and 17 for the Blue Devils. When we get back, they're in a desperate situation. He'll have to go for this on fourth down. So they, you know, maybe they got a play they can pick up half of it or something. Go for this in two chunks. It's two minutes left to go, 2.05, so I guess we'll hold on here. Hold on. All right. They send the man in motion. And the play is blown dead. And we got another flag against Northampton. It's like an illegal procedure call. That's going to back them up another five yards. That's going to make this a really long third down try. It's Now it's more like 21. third and 22, I'd say. 21. Yeah, third and 21. Northampton gets back to it. And he looks to pass. And that ball is incomplete. 
That's going to bring up fourth down for the Northampton Blue Devils. Very nearly down to their last gasp. A minute 59 seconds left to go in a game. Northampton's used a lot of timeouts. Amherst gets his ball back. They should be able to run it. Run the clock out. A little breeze has been picking up here. A little breeze. The Amherst fans are making the stands. Rock to the beat. Okay, fourth down. Chris Hampton's back. They put it up. Oh, it's incomplete. And that's good for Amherst. Mike, let me ask you something. Yeah. Can you tell me how important it is for Amherst to beat Northampton? Well, it is. It's their arch rival. So, uh, their arch rival. We make a season for them. Make a season for them. Would you say that this game, winning this one game, maybe winning this one game, can take away some of that pain from those heartbreaking losses they suffered earlier on? It takes a little of the sting away. Take some of the sting away. Because this is a big game. This is our rival right here. You'd rather beat Northampton than just about anybody. Good make grandma's turkey Maybe Springfield we'd like to beat too. But well, we'd love to beat Northampton. You gotta watch it now because I wanna hand this I wanna give this tape to the Northampton C T V too. Did anything ever uh, take away from the stick that Tommy Witness used to burn you in not your basketball? I don't know what the hell you're talking about. All right! Or is it Jeff Wickles? <laughs> no. Shut up. Just never mind. All right, folks. Amherst has got the clock. No, it stopped. Northampton's used up their last time out, according to my spotters over here. Do you owe your uh, basketball success to Russ Campion making you tough for practice? No, he owes it to Kerry walking. Oh, it's a Stevie Slim. <laughs> All right. Time's called on the field here. We're just basking in the sunshine, basking in the glow of this potential Amherst victory. There's still a minute and 44 seconds left to go in a game. Stranger things have happened. But we're looking pretty good at this point. Here come the Hurricanes. It's gonna be second and about six here. They're gonna wanna get that clock started up again. Let's see if we can zoom in on the action. Carey takes the snap, hands it back. There goes Jackson. What kids are we taking back? Jackson. All right, that's going to bring up about a third and. It's going to bring up about a third and three or four. This is probably four down territory here for the Hurricanes. They can get two cracks at it here from about the 23 yard line. Box rolling, 108, 105, 102. Now we got a timeout. We got a stoppage. Let's see what's going on here. Delay a game. Delay a game? What a. Oh, they got. Amherst is now called for delay a game penalty. And that backs them up. That's going to make it a lot harder for them to pick up this first down. I think they're still going to roll this clock out. I don't know. They should have gotten that ball snapped. There's no doubt about that. All right. Here comes Carey up behind the center. Takes the height. Again. Jackson up the middle. And he picks up three or four. And that'll bring up fourth down. Clock is rolling, 42 seconds left to go now in the game. See if they can get this playoff without getting another delay penalty here. 
They're just going to run it probably again. Although on this one, they could pass it. And now they're in a rush. They hand it back, same play again. This time Jackson gets a little closer to the sideline. Doesn't matter. All right, 16 seconds left to go, and Northampton's going to take over the ball. Well, I think they are. Some are trying. No, that's not going to be a first down. I don't think that's going to be a first down. They're going to get the chains out, folks. Hold on. All right, well, it was closer than we thought, but it was Northampton taking over on downs there. So they got 16 seconds left. They need a miracle. They need a big play. They need a long pass play or something. Amherst just needs to keep this play in front of them. Tackle the player inbounds, and that'll be it. Watch out for the hook and ladder, Bruce. All right. Quarterback takes the snap. He rolls this way. He puts it up deep. That's incomplete. All right, there's 11 seconds now left on the clock. Clock is stopped. Time's running out on the Blue Devils. Amherst needs to concentrate for a couple more plays here. All right, here we go, second and 10. And he's back, he looks, and he puts it up over here. That ball's broken up. Amber's fans are starting to rumble. All right, two seconds left to go. This is, in all likelihood, the last play of the game. Barn penalty. Barn a penalty. I already said that. All right, he looks. He puts it up long. And plays made over there. Could be another turnover to end the game. Karen Presley. Battens up the stats, and Amherst is victorious over here in Northampton. Show the scoreboard, Bruce. Show the scoreboard, Bruce. Where's the scoreboard? There you go, the guest, that'd be Amherst, has 14. The home, that was Northampton, they have 12, and there's no time left on the clock. And that's a victory for the Amherst Regional High School Hurricanes. I have to thank my Happy assistants here. Happy Thanksgiving, Mike. Where the hell did they go? Back up on it. Oh, I got nothing here. There goes some of my help. Here they depart. Nobody's going to help me put the camera away. Carry everything all the way back to the car. Up that giant hill they got across the way. But we're pretty happy here. Like I say, Beating Northampton is better than beating two or three other teams all at the same time. All right? So the, so the boys are going to have the opportunity to remember that. They did win their final game of the year, the Thanksgiving game against the Northampton High School Blue Devils. All right, they're out there shaking hands. We'd like to thank you for tuning in here to another edition of the Amherst Regional High School Sports. Tonight featuring the victorious Hurricanes against the mighty Blue Devils of Northampton High School. Thanks for being with us. Again, Justin Carey is Amherst's offensive player of the game. And Amherst Defensive Player of the Game, Zach Jackson.
number five, Kieran Presley. Sorry about that. And for Northampton, the defensive player of the game, Jack Lightford. <laughs> And Northampton's offensive player of the game, quarterback RJ Ramsey. And that concludes our festivities. Happy Thanksgiving.